hi everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel uh, today in this video we'll be making dinner we'll be making a Moroccan dish called a dish or it's a it's a lentil soup so it's very it's very simple and doesn't require a lot of ingredients but the ingredients that will be used in this the soup will be um, black pepper we're gonna need turmeric ginger and salt those are the spices and in this pot we have a cup of washed lentils and we have um, a fourth a fourth cup of washed rice Um, you don't have to make it with rice, but usually I make it with rice and lentils because it gives it a nice taste to it. And we're gonna need um, a small little handful of parsley. One, two, three, four, five cloves of garlic. A whole medium white onion and two tomatoes. We'll be needing a shredder, a knife, something to stir with and a pot. We're also gonna need corn oil. Any brand will work. It's just, it's just, we prefer this one. Or olive oil. Or olive oil. Any type of oil, actually. So now we put the pot on top of the stove and turned it on to high heat. We put it on high. And we'll be pouring the oil in. Just, just enough to cover the bottom. Like, a, oh, a fourth cup, an eighth cup, just something to cover the bottom with. Next, we'll be grabbing the white onion and we'll be chopping that up kind of, kind of big, but not that big. Lentils are very rich in iron and fiber. They're really good for you when you're sick or when you need some iron. So now we're just gonna put the onions in the oil and let them brown while we stir them. We're just gonna let them get like golden brown. It just, the onions add the flavor in most of the, in the lentil soup. We're gonna cover them. Now we're gonna cut the parsley while we're waiting for the onions to brown. Yeah, we're gonna cut all of the parsley, the stem, the leaves, nice and finely so they don't so they don't become big and become chewable. Next, we're gonna cut, cut some of only like three to two cloves of the garlic. And with the other ones, we're gonna grate, grate them into the soup. With these three, we're just gonna cut them nice and finely. Here, we're gonna check on um, the onions. Yeah, we're just gonna stir them once in a while to not make sure any of them burn. Okay. 
next we're gonna grab the tomatoes and we're gonna cut these up kind of finely make sure you can't you can't taste them you can't chew them in the soup oh no we're gonna grate the tomatoes Side. Not brown yet. Not brown yet, so just stirring them a little bit more. So now we have the onions. They're brown enough. They, they've been cooking for about five, 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 six, seven minutes. The, the heat's still on high, so they should go fast. Now we're gonna add the rice mixed with the lentils. We're gonna have, gonna add them in and brown them a little. Make sure everything's incorporated. The rice mixed in with the onions and the lentils. We're gonna add the spices. We're gonna add and this is the end. We're gonna add a big table, so we're gonna add a tablespoon of ginger. A tablespoon, half a tablespoon of black pepper. We're gonna add a tablespoon of turmeric. And we're gonna add the parsley and then the chopped garlic. And we're gonna add the whole garlics too. So we're gonna incorporate everything, let that brown a little. Why we doing this? We're not gonna put the salt in until later so the salt doesn't burn. It's not gonna it's not gonna let the enough for the salt to burn or make the lentils cook faster so we're just gonna leave the salt out until last next we're gonna add the water we're gonna add the water we're gonna add the hot water that we boiled earlier covering it or like, yes, like covering it like just enough so it covers it and a little bit more so it soaks it up. See, like, it's not that deep, just covering it in a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna let it cover it and let it sit for seven to ten minutes. Seven to ten minutes. We're just gonna let it sit. So back after seven to eight minutes, the the lentils and the rice absorb the water enough 
and we added the on high, on high heat. They, we added the tomatoes. We we grated. So now the water is all, and we want it more more rich with tomato. See, eight minutes is already cooked. So in eight minutes, the lentils are soft enough to squish between your fingers. So we already added the shredded tomato, and it was on high the whole time. So it. It, we made this dish in like 30 minutes, so this is very simple. We want it more runny and more color and taste, so we're adding a little bit more water. But you can leave it like that for the water. But we want it runny like a soup, so we added more water. Now we're going to add salt. Now we're going to add the salt and like I said before, we wanted it more flavor and color, so we're just gonna add some tomato paste and we're, we're either gonna add some tomato paste or some tomato sauce. Which one? Either one works fine. And the salt depends, and the salt depends on how much you want, but we're just gonna put like two thirds of a tablespoon in it. So, so we're just gonna add the tomato sauce. You're gonna need it's, more. It's, it's traditional. It has only the uh, the onion, uh, the tomato, and parsley and basil. basil. We're gonna add more of the tomato sauce than we are. Then, if you did paste, you're only gonna add like a tablespoon or so. But for the sauce, we're gonna need like one big ladle full like how you say like half a cup or less it depends on your taste and now we're gonna leave it for like five or three to four minutes and we're gonna turn off the the heat more flavor oregano and olive oil are a good way to serve it Bread, crackers. We're gonna reduce the heat. We're gonna reduce the heat to um, medium. Okay, by the way, if you wanna use this tomato sauce, this tomato sauce, you can add it in the end when the the, the lentil cooked. Uh, otherwise, if you wanna use the paste, you can use like one teaspoon to two teaspoon in the beginning with the onion, uh, after the onion uh, get brown. So this is the final result. We have the lentil soup or this. And with this, we could either top it with olive oil and oregano, or you could just top it with cumin. It depends on your flavoring. Or add extra salt, whatever you need. And you can also serve it with crackers, any type of crackers. Here we have saltines, the white ones. And we have wheat crackers. And then these are wheat crackers with cheddar in the middle and so we always make these when it's like cold we serve these it helps so i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe turn post notifications on it'll be greatly appreciated share it if you want thank you and we hope to see you again next time with the next video.